Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel SG Education. Today we will see class 9 subject science chapter 11 reflection of light exercise solutions. Question 1 answer the following questions. A explain the difference between a plane mirror, a concave mirror and a convex mirror with respect to the type and size of the images produced answer the difference between a plane mirror a concave mirror and a convex mirror with respect to the type and size of images produced are as follows answer type of image plane mirror virtual and erect concave mirror virtual as well as real convex mirror virtual and erect size of image plane mirror same size concave mirror diminished same size and magnified concave convex mirror diminished question b describe the position of the source of light with respect to a concave mirror in first torch light second projector lamp third flood light answer First, torch light. The source of light is placed at the focus. Second, projector lamp. The source of light is placed at the center of curvature. Third, flood light. The source of light is placed just beyond the center of curvature. Question C. Why are concave mirrors used in solar devices? Answer. Solar devices like solar cooker or solar water heater use solar energy to cook food or heat water. When sun rays fall on the concave mirror, they converge and come together in the focal plane. Due to convergence, the intensity of sun rays increases and the food or water is heated faster. Hence, Concave mirrors are used in solar devices. Question D. Why are the mirrors fitted on the outside of cars convex? Answer. A convex mirror is used as rear view mirror because they form erect virtual and diminished images. This allows the driver to view a large area in a small mirror. Question E. Why does obtaining the image of the sun on a paper with the help of concave mirror burn the paper? Answer. When sun rays fall on the concave mirror, they converge and come together in the focal plane. Due to convergence, the intensity of sun rays increases. Hence, image of the sun on a paper with the help of concave mirror burns the paper. Question F. If a spherical mirror breaks, what type of mirrors are the individual pieces? Answer. When a spherical mirror breaks into smaller pieces, the radius of curvature and focal length does not change. Hence, it will continue to behave like a spherical mirror only. Question 2. What sign conventions are used for reflection from a spherical mirror? Answer. According to the Cartesian sign convention, the pole of the mirror is taken as the origin. The principal axis is taken as the x-axis of the frame of reference. The sign conventions are as follows. The object is always kept on the left of the mirror. All distances parallel to the principal axis are measured from the pole of the mirror. All distances measured towards the right of the pole are taken to be positive, while those measured towards the left are taken to be negative. The distance measured vertically upwards from, uh, from the principal axis are taken to be positive. 
the distance measured vertically downwards from the principal axis are taken to be negative. The focal length of the concave mirror is negative while that of convex mirror is positive. Question 3. Draw ray diagrams for the cases of images obtained in concave mirror as described in the table on page number 122. Answer the ray diagrams for the cases of images obtained in concave mirrors on page number 122 are as follows. First, a ray diagram for object at infinity for a con concave mirror. Image position at focus and nature of image, real, inverted and point image. Second, a ray diagram for object beyond center of curvature for a concave mirror. Image position between the center of curvature and focus, nature of image, real, inverted and diminished. Third, a ray diagram for object at the center of curvature for a concave mirror. So, image position at the center of curvature and nature of image, real, inverted and same size. Fourth, a ray diagram for object between F and C for a concave mirror. Image position beyond the center of curvature, nature of image, real, inverted and magnified. Fifth, the array diagram for object at focus for a concave mirror is shown here. Image position at infinity and nature of image, real, inverted and highly magnified. Sixth, a ray diagram for object between pole and focus for a concave mirror. Image position behind the mirror. Nature of image virtual, erect and magnified. Question 4. Which type of mirrors are used in the following? Periscope, floodlights, shaving mirror. Kaleidoscope, street lights, headlamps of a car. Answer. Objects and type of mirror. First, periscope, plane mirror. Floodlights, concave mirror. Shaving mirror, concave mirror. Kaleidoscope, plane mirror. Street lights, convex mirror. Headlamps of car, concave mirror. Question 5. Solve the following examples. A. An object of height 7 cm is kept at a distance of 25 cm in front of a concave mirror. The focal length of the mirror is 15 cm. At what distance from the mirror should a screen be kept so as to get a clear image? What will be the size and nature of the image? Answer Solution Given object size h1 is equal to 7 cm Object distance u is equal to minus 25 cm Focal length f is equal to minus 15 cm To find image distance u is equal to question mark Image size S2 yes, is equal to question mark. Formula 1 upon V plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F and M is equal to H2 upon H1 is equal to minus V upon U. Solution 1 upon V plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. So therefore 1 upon V is equal to 1 upon F minus 1 upon U. Putting values of f and u, 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon minus 15 minus 1 upon 
minus 25. Therefore, 1 upon v is equal to minus 1 upon 15 and minus minus become plus. So, plus 1 upon 25. 1 upon v is equal to minus 5 plus 3 upon 75. Therefore, 1 upon v is equal to minus 2 upon 75. Therefore, v is equal to minus 75 upon 2. So, v is equal to minus 37.5 centimeter. The screen should be kept 373 centimeter in front of the image mirror. The image is real. Now to find H2. M is equal to H2 upon H1 is equal to minus V upon U. Therefore, H2 is equal to minus V H1 upon U. So, H2 is equal to minus of minus 75 upon 2 multiplied by 7 upon minus 25. Therefore, H2 is equal to minus 21 upon 2. So, after dividing, we get H2 is equal to minus 10.5 centimeter. The height of the image is 10.5 centimeter. It is an inverted and enlarged image. Question B. A convex mirror has a focal length of 18 cm. The image of an object kept in front of the mirror is half the height of the object. What is the distance of the object from the mirror? Answer. Given image size h2 is equal to 1 upon 2 h1. Focal length f is equal to 18 cm. To find object distance u. Formula m is equal to h2 upon h1 is equal to minus v upon u. Second, 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f. Solution m is equal to h2 upon h1. Therefore, m is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by h1 upon h1. So, h1 h1 get cancelled. m is equal to 1 upon 2. Now, m is equal to minus v upon u. So, therefore, minus v upon u is equal to 1 upon 2. So, v is equal to minus 1 upon 2 u is equal to minus u upon 2. Therefore, v is equal to minus u upon 2 from this 1 upon v is equal to minus 2 upon u. So, 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f. So, put value of 1 upon v in this formula minus 2 upon u plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f. So, minus 2 plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon 18. So, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So, minus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon 18. Therefore, u is equal to minus 18 centimeter. The object is placed in front of the convex mirror at a distance of 18 centimeter. Now, question C. A 10 centimeter long stick is kept in front of a concave mirror having focal length of 10 centimeter in such a way that the end of the stick closest to the pole is at a distance of 20 cm. What will be the length of the image? Answer. Given that object size h1 is equal to 10 cm, object distance u is equal to minus 20 cm and focal length f is equal to minus 10 cm. So to find image size h2. Formula 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f and m is equal to h2 upon h1 is equal to minus v upon u. Solution 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f. Putting value of u and f we get 1 upon v is plus 1 upon minus 20 is equal to 1 upon minus 10. So, 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon minus 10 plus 1 upon 20. So, 1 upon v is equal to minus 2 plus 1 upon 20. 
सो वन अपॉन वी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी सो वी इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर नाउ एम इज इक्वल टू एच टू अपॉन एच वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी अपॉन यू सो एच टू अपॉन एच वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी अपॉन यू सो फ्रॉम दिस एच टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एच वन अपॉन यू सो एच टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन अपॉन माइनस ट्वेंटी सो एच टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस टेन सेंटीमीटर द हाइट ऑफ द इमेज इज टेन सेंटीमीटर एंड इट इज रियल एंड इन्वर्टर इन्वर्टेड इमेज नाउ क्वेश्चन सिक्स Three mirrors are created from a single sphere. Which of the following? Pole, center of curvature, radius of curvature, principal axis will be common to them, and which will not be common? Answer: Center of curvature and radius of curvature will be common for all three pieces, and pole. and principal axis will not be common our chapter 11 reflection of light exercise solutions are completed if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel sg education thank you